Hey guys, welcome to another John claude Van Damme video. We're going to talk about the crazy time where he actually ended up losing money with his involvement in a film, as crazy as that is. Now, just in general, he's been all over the place as far as what he makes per movie, from as high as $8 million for Street Fighter the movie, to as little as 200 bucks for No Retreat, No Surrender. But today's video, like I mentioned, he actually lost money with his involvement in this film. Oh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, by the way, if you like Jean-Claude Van Damme. Otherwise, uh, we'll have to move on to Steven Seagal, perhaps. And that's a dream of mine. So hot off the heels of Van Damme's breakout performance in Bloodsport, a film which Van Damme earned a paltry $25,000 for, <laughs> Canon Films gave him a choice to star in Delta Force 2, American Ninja 3, or Cyborg. He of course chose the latter. Cyborg has an interesting history on how it was made by the way, which I covered in a previous video. Make sure to check that one out if you haven't, I'll link it in the description below. The film Cyborg was shot on a real shoestring budget of just $500,000, which included Van Damme's salary. It's been reported that he made around $50,000 for Cyborg, which would make sense for Cannon to shell out a little more for his services after proving he could be a bankable star with his prior effort in Bloodsport. So Cyborg was released in 1989 and became a modest hit grossing over $10 million domestically on its tiny budget. Van Damme wouldn't be a big star for several more years, however, but by 1993, once his star and fame began to quickly rise after his hit Universal Soldier, one of the stuntmen from Cyborg must have decided there was now ample opportunity to get decently compensated for an injury he incurred on set while filming years prior. The stuntman in question was Jackson Rock Pickney, a Fort Bragg-based army soldier slash bodybuilder at the time, who was hired to play one of the villains in Cyborg. He claimed that he was partially blinded in his left eye after Van Damme stabbed him with a rubber prop knife back in 1988. This resulted in Mr. Pickney being medically discharged from the army. In the scene that caused the injury, which can be seen here, Pickney was supposed to run through a pool of water, come to a stop, and then take a swing at Van Damme with a rubber knife. Van Damme in turn was to simulate kicking the knife out of Pickney's hand and then slashing his throat and beheading him with his own knife. But during filming, the prop knife in Van Damme's right hand had unfortunately ended up striking Pickney in the left eye. According to the lawsuit, Van Damme had a reputation for not pulling his punches during fight scenes in his movies, and often caused pain and injury to various stuntmen and actors during rehearsals and filming as a result. You can definitely see that in this clip from Bloodsport here. As far as the performance goes, it definitely brings a higher level of authenticity as well as intensity. I still feel really bad for this palm tree here. The judge on the case, John Martin, said, There was ample testimony that Van Damme wanted his fight scenes to look as authentic and realistic as possible and that he had a reputation for engaging in excessive contact in order to do so. So during the lawsuit, several other stuntmen and actors in Cyborg testified that Van Damme never pulled his punches even though he was repeatedly warned to back off. I never meant to hurt anybody in my entire life. For example, Blaze Loon, the sword and martial arts consultant for the film, also played one of the villains as can be seen here, testified that generally there is a goal to avoid actual physical contact between weapons and individuals when filming fight scenes. He stated that several of the cast complained to him about excessive contact from the defendant, Van Damme, during the fight scenes. It's thought that Van Damme felt the fight choreography wouldn't look very convincing on film unless actual contact was made, especially the shots that were to be shot in slow motion. So after accidentally poking Pinkney in the eye with a prop knife, the suit alleged that Van Damme just stood there, rather than showing any concern or trying to help his co-star. It's likely that Van Damme wasn't aware at the time. And I felt an impact with my knife on something, and I didn't know what was that something. Because as a smart person, when a guy is hurt, you don't stay around going blah 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 to him. And he in no way seems like a callous individual. In fact, when Michael Jai White was an extra on the first Universal Soldier movie, he recounts a story about Van Damme, which I believe says a lot about Van Damme's character. I gotta say this. I don't know if many people know. I was in the first uh, Universal Soldier with Van Damme. Really? Yeah, but you need the pause button to see me. <laughs> Let me tell you, I met the real John claude back then. I will never say a bad thing about this yeah. man because let me tell you, this is a real story, okay? I trained with him during that time. I was nobody, nobody knew me. He, he welcomed me into working out with him. I mean, I was in the foxhole with him. It was freezing, we were in Camp Verde, Arizona, and he insisted that I wear the jacket that he had just because I'm freezing throughout the thing. He continues to be a very nice person. Van Damme argued that there wasn't sufficient evidence to support a finding of willful and reckless conduct. 
Furthermore, he later claimed that the case should have been thrown out altogether because one of the jurors visited a karate school and discussed it with an instructor. However, an appeals court found the juror showed no prejudice in reaching a verdict. I think it'd only be fair if that juror showed Van Damme at least something he learned in that class. Can you show me one of your uh, special kicks? You want to see one of my kicks? Yeah. Come on. Yeah? Ah! <laughs> the end result was $487,000 being awarded to the plaintiff, Pickney. So if we take Van Damme's $50,000 salary for Cyborg, net, he'd be down with a loss of $433,000. No wonder why at the time he claimed he wouldn't film in the US anymore for fear of being sued. He's of course since had a change of heart. So that leads to an interesting point overall. The fight scenes in Van Damme movies certainly look and seem more impactful than the fight scenes in a lot of other movies. I guess that's good for the audience, but not so much for the stuntmen. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you're a fan of Van Damme, make sure to subscribe to the channel.